Hola amores and welcome back to my channel, I am Maritza. So on today's video topic, we're going to be talking about what are those top emotional requirements a woman needs from her man, from a man. Okay, let's jump right in. So my loves, men and women, we are all very different. We think different, we act different, and certainly our needs are very different too. As women, we thrive with emotions and love stories and desires. Men, you guys are different. You thrive on actions, on facts, and you guys are more realist. So what are some of the basic emotions as women require from you, from men? Well, first, we need you to show affection. We need to know that you care about us with your verbal and your nonverbal communication. Women need a man who can show affection by calling them, making sure she's okay, by texting her to let her know that you're thinking about her, by holding her hand in public or in the car when you're alone, just to let her know you're there to protect her, by opening the door. Some women like that. Some women like to understand that you're leading and that you're a gentleman. All those are signs of communication and affection. And trust me, affection is the primary way for us women to become attached to you to the men both mentally and physically when a woman gets that affection what can she do she lets her guard down because now she feels safe with you that she feels safe that your that your feelings are honest basically that lets her open herself a lot more her mind and her body to be comfortable in your own space and that could lead to sexual ways too my love the following emotional requirement she needs from you to be attached to you is what she needs full honesty with you this one is so so important let her know that you're not into games that you're not a womanizer she needs you to show her that you don't have other women laying around or on the side right you're in a committed relationship let her know let her become comfortable with you and you with her how leave your phones all she and you everybody leave their phones everywhere laying around no need to be scared to show signs of being scared and also, you have to learn to talk about what you need and what you want from her and what your desires are. Let her become aware of what you need also to be happy. The more open and honest you are, the more she will have a sense of security in this relationship and she will believe a lot more in the relationship and the more she will invest herself in the relationship. Because as women, we all come from trauma of the past. If not in our lives, then from other generations. Maybe our mothers or family or, or someone close to us who has been lied to by a man, right? Some men, uh, women say they left them uh, pregnant and they left them and they never came back. Or he had a mistress and years later, they found out he had a son. Anyways, we've heard all the stories in the book. And that's basically our biggest fears to let a man in our lives and to become completely vulnerable only to find out that the man has been lying and living a double life. So my love, honesty, what else does it include? It also includes the things you don't want to tell us because you don't want to hurt us. But when the news comes out sooner or later, when we realize you admit it to us, also that's a form of you being dishonest. Example, you have plans to go with the guys on a weekend getaway on, in a few months and you planned it a while ago but you didn't say anything because you were afraid the lady was going to get into a fight, she was going to get upset. Then what happens? You need to stop being afraid. Don't buy problems. See it as it is and say it as it is. If you're not hiding anything, then who cares? You have a life too and we all have to respect each other's decisions and individuality. Anyways, that's the basis of a relationship, honesty. So please keep up the honesty and always be clear. And as they say in Spanish, mas claro no canta un gallo. And it means not even a rooster could say it more clear. What does it mean? Stop beating around the bush. Always honesty and clear. My loves and the last emotional requirement, very important, that she needs from you, what support she needs from you is she wants to know how committed you are. And what does this mean? This means I want to know how serious you are with me. Are you clear in your intentions? Are we a couple? Are we just friends? Do you want a future with me? Or is this just for like the weekends? Is it just for fun? Or are you going to be with me through good and through bad? For other women, it could be, let me know if you want to have a family with me. If you ever plan to live with me. If it's a yes or if it's a no or if it's a maybe. Where? Tell me how long along the road do you plan this? For how long? All these things are super important. Clear, clear, clear. And all this goes with your words and with your actions. Make sure what you say match what you do. And remember, my loves, it's okay if you want something different from her because we don't all want the same things out of life. But our life goals need to be aligned in order to have a lasting relationship. Because maybe 
on the first day of the relationship where our sexual chemistry is up to the roof, maybe then you could want totally different things, but you fail to pay attention to the signs because you have so much fun with each other. But when the sex drive cools down after a year, now what? Where are we headed to? So if you can talk about the willingness and the commitment and the desires earlier on, then better, then great, because you will have one less problem or one less inconvenience to tackle along the way. So my loves, good luck to all of you. And remember, honesty above all. And have some basic life goals together. Just make sure they match with what you want and what she wants, all right? The physical desires or what you want your perfect woman physically to be on, on your wish list, that is a lot less important because what you need is a best friend and one who wants to and who is willing to walk with you through this amazing journey of ups and downs called life. And by the way, if you have a problem you're currently living with and you would like me to help you maybe make a video on it, send me an email or reach out to me through Instagram. You can find those contact links in the description of this video. I will try to reach out to you and together we can see how we can find a logic and a healthy solution to your own situation. All right, my loves, that is all for today. I want to thank you for watching and for sticking with me in this channel. I do hope you liked what I shared and I look forward to having you here again soon. Please don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I post a new video. And also remember to give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the video. It really helps me with YouTube's algorithm. That's all I ask. And uh, share this video to someone if you think it can help them. And please also let me know what your thoughts are on what I discussed today. And what are those basic emotional requirements us women need from you, from a man. Okay? Once again, I am Maritza and know that I will continue to try my best in bringing you ways on how to create a better bond with yourself and a more meaningful relationship with those around you. Till next time. Ciao, ciao, my loves. Ciao, ciao, my amores.